It's the Season 2 Finals of Sunday Night Blood Bowl, and the stage is set. The followers of Sylvanas, the second place undead from Season 1, taking another shot at the trophy. And the up-and-coming Cleansing Light Knights, the human powerhouses rising from the minor league. Hold on to your holy water. This is Sunday Night Blood Bowl. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the finals of Season 2 for Sunday Night Blood Bowl. Yeah, Woo! buddy. Yeah, buddy. Tonight, we have followers of Sylvanas. Hi, that, that's me. I didn't know you were. There <laughs> <laughs> we go, man. And the Cleansing Light Knights. I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You're a bunch of angry priests, right? You should be fine. Uh, a couple, mostly angry priests, couple of reformed quote unquote prisoners. <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> reformed, or did they find salvation in each other? I mean, I, no I guess I you could say it. when we threw the book at them, it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> they they uh, threw the Bible at them. <laughs> yay. Okay. Praise be unto Nuffle. <laughs> Except oh, when he fucks us. Uh, the inducements. I got 120k petty cash, so I got Nigor. Nice. 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 That will definitely work in your favor here. Yeah. Saves everything but the ghouls. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it does. Why do you all, all you, you two do is just burp constantly? Well, I'm so drinking what? a soda. <laughs> I'm drinking a beer and a soda. At the same time. That's called a shandy. <laughs> How did you get in here? <laughs> How did he get in the booth? I like to think Adam's just a fan who's pressed his face against the glass of the booth. <laughs> All right. And the first All words right. you hear are him saying, that's called a shandy. All right, so... I might have to edit that to make it sound like he's on the other side of a glass panel. <laughs> All right, so... All right. We... So this is, this is Grand Finals for Majors. Um... At... We are in the game. So, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say, so good luck, everybody. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. There it is. There it is. Hey. I, I, I heard you spamming the mouth. I was <laughs> like, come spamming on, the come button. On. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so this... This is in Ben's favor, I think. Out the gate. Um... Mm, he does have Quasimodo for this. He does. He's very. He's more agility based. Not like that's stopped the humans before. Right, right. But I'm saying like so. So there's two different ways that undead usually play. You either, you either have um, two gold ghoul ball carriers, or you have a ghoul and a white usually. Um, yes. And they play very differently because the white. If you're playing with the white as the ball carrier, you are playing. Um, you're, you're kind of being more resilient with your ball carrier, whereas with um, the ghouls, you have an ability to. You're more. You're much more maneuverable. Yeah. It's the idea of either you're not knocking down the ball carrier because he's just that beast, or you're not knocking down the ball carrier because he's just simply faster than you are. Yeah. What I find interesting is Dylan didn't bring in. The two block catchers, like, or or, and he left out one of the linemen too. Oh boy. Oh wait, is he? Who's got ball first? I didn't see who who has the ball first. Oh wait, um, it's it's a uh, it's Ben, because he's setting up second. It's Ben, yes. Putting all the block on the front. I I actually was talking to Ben about this game a a day or two ago. And he actually brought up, yeah, using this strategy here, running only one ghoul at a time. No, it makes perfect sense. I mean, like, this is a viable build of, of the undead. And the issue is that when you have both the whites and the ghouls, you don't have enough just regular positionals. Yeah. Or not, not I kick. I kick. Yeah, um, I guess Quasimodo's got the ball. Yeah. This also just gives you a little bit more beef against a team with a lot of mighty blow. Yeah. Although not a lot of See, tackle out right now. Just one. I mean, he only has one player with, um... With tackle, doesn't he? 
Uh, on the pitch, yes. Um, Barnabas. Oh no, he only has two players with tackle total. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna catch yeah. the ball. <laughs> and one of the things about this strategy is, while it may work against some teams, I don't know how well it would function against, say, a human or an elf team. I think caging is. I mean. The other option is you screen, right? And you're too slow for that. Um, you kind of have to cage, too, yeah. because you've got guard. Yeah, really. So I, I think that you just, you straight up just cage with the whites. Or, may, or maybe he'll leave one of the, yeah, okay, he's going to leave one of the whites to block. Which I think is interesting. He took the tackle white as the one to set up with. He doesn't want... I mean, I would have taken old Mitt Jenkins. He's got Mighty Blow. That's probably the one that you want out and about. Yeah. He's really going to get... This is... All right. <laughs> an interesting cage. Let's play dwarves. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the top. <laughs> Fouling the top. Alright. He got lucky there. He did. I mean, like, it's greedy with, with especially with only... I mean, you've got two players on the bench, and your team... He, uh, keep... Huh? Yeah. He got really lucky that that was not a send-off. A little, but he can probably operate just fine without that player, is the thing. Because he's, not, yeah, he's he... not taking out this big guy anytime soon. Yeah, the, the thing is, he probably can, but that's... That's his main fowler right there. Drew the Drunk? Yeah, but I mean, I think... Because he's I, got Dirty Player. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so when you're trying... When you when you have a fowler, I mean, you're picking between fouling the big guy or fouling wh who you believe is the most important blitzer. I don't think you ever foul a catcher, and you're never fouling a thrower. Especially Why just, is that? Uh, they're easily replaceable. He's got, he's got two more catchers on the bench. You yeah. might foul a thrower, then. He still has two throwers, and you only really need one. I mean, like, I mean, Dylan's living in excess right now. It, it's it's funny because it it's one of those things that makes um, the fouling player much worse. Is that you either have to foul this big guy, which okay, I have fun rolling a ten, or yeah. you're taking out who you think is the most important blitzer, and none of those players are in range right now. I think he's just mm -hmm. trying to get the big guy off the pitch so he can outmuscle the human team. Uh I'm going to flat out say, it. Dylan has learned oh, yes, he quite has. well. Oh, he has. Uh, I don't know if this was ever brought up. In the off season, Dylan and I actually ran some practice matches to help him understand the game better. Yeah. So he learned from me. And boy, has he freaking. They grew up so fast. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually. This is one of those positions for the Blitzers right now where you don't. Um, how do I describe this? This is like relative, like in theory, this is easy to deal with until you realize he doesn't have any way to free up his players. Like in order to do this. Why this guy ever needs to throw a block on a Maximilian, but it, or he might just get beat. Oh, jeez, you didn't. He doesn't have block. <laughs> all right, that's all you needed, I guess. Reroll gonna come out. He's got five of them. Yeah, I mean, I, you still probably block with Aodrid unless you plant unless you specifically need Aodrid somewhere else. But even then, I feel like there was no reason to try to block like that. You could have just you could have just taken the block instead. I guess. I don't know. I don't, where is Aodrid? Aodrid is in the back left of the humans team. He just, he just took a one die on a dirt. <laughs> Ooh, that's a stun. Self-admitted, Ben Ben has acknowledged that Durr is one of his most valuable yeah, yeah. players. Yes, Durr is a very, very strong player. For sure. All right, I call bullshit. The Amazon zombie is not in play right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to pass it back. Um, um, 
I, really I like I like this formation from Dylan. Yeah, it's pretty solid. He's just gonna. It's it's, it's very elfy. I mean, like this is kind of how you have to play. Like when your team, when the exactly. when, yeah. when the other team cages up that much, you you just have to play it this way. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. push that. I'm trying to figure because out wh while you may not score, you may be able to get the ball away from away from Quasimodo. Yeah. Yeah, th like, this is a really bad spot for Ben right now. Yeah, he can't do anything. He he actually just can't do anything here. Um, the whites... Like, he's got he's got a series of one-die blocks. He can set up a two-die with Drew. And I think that's what he's me gonna go do. Yeah, yeah. Me meanwhile... Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Me only gonna get one it's still not gonna help him so what's interesting here though is that this is prompting Dylan to move because if because if he just leave if Ben just leaves his back line right here nobody's getting in this turn yeah that's exactly what you do you just stay um and now you now you have to make Dylan do something here and Dylan is the one that has to act because Ben can just sit here all day here's what you do so Manfred Angerny right the the catcher in the back Yep. You move him up to assist Duke Volt, you knock down Tucker, and now you've pierced the cage. Yeah, you do have a... well, you, you kind of have a way in. It's not clean, but it's there. It's there. That big guy is about to just ruin that person's day. Oh, wait, no, yes. he can't. He's one, sp he's one space away. Meanwhile, the top. Prisoner 38, the top. This is also really good because it's making it's making him use a blitz to deal with the big guy. So you you either have to sidestep this cage, which I don't actually think you can do that cleanly. There you go. You might actually just push the yeah, just push the big push guy. Push the back. big guy. Push him back, yep. Exactly like that. Yes. Granted you now have a two granted um Tucker now has a two die block on Duke Volts, but that, that's fine. Where where does Quasimodo go here? He can't go anywhere. Oh, actually he can. Um, if Ramses hits uh, Baldrick, Baldrick Fleisch. Oh yeah. He he could pop out there. I mean, I sure, but there's no protection, and that, and now you've yeah. got a throw. You've yeah. got a thrower, and actually, okay, now actually, okay. So there's two options. You either leave your throwers back, and you say, okay, co come on and pop out, and then I'm just gonna yeah. blitz you. Yeah. Or you do what Dylan just did, and you just close it up. Exactly. Um, actually, wait, no, there's still a way out of this if he takes up Baldrick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's really good. That's hysterical. <laughs> Give me that ball. <laughs> oh man, now you, put, now you put Baldrick on the ball too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and where is Ben gonna go? I mean, he's gonna have to fight his way out, which I think he knew that going into this. He's gonna have to fight this out, but Dylan has really... Dylan's shutting out all the exits. Yes. That's not where I would have put him, but... Okay, no, no, no I see why you did that. All right, sure. I see, yeah. I see why, but maybe... Okay, that's not great for you, but... Whatever. Well, I mean, now now he's got a way out. He can go out and around, but and you yes. actually have and you have protection via dodge checks. Um, not entirely. No, d definitely not entirely. But like, you can tie up these players. Yeah, you can. I mean, this is a this is an oh oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. oh no! Hey, Quasimodo! Guess what's hey going on? Hey boy! How you doing? Please stand up Edwin Fleisch first. Please stand up Edwin Fleisch first. You can even you can even set this up as a two die. 
I like I, I like that move. Just just yeah, you safe moves first here. There's no reason to get greedy. Yeah. And if he fails the bonehead, then what? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't matter, but this this is really gonna hurt. Oh boy. He's getting a two die on the on the ball carrier. Yep. Or well Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what he's doing here. No, no, he's just he's just making it hard. He's just making it. He, he's closing exits. Yes, he, he he is. Yeah. The question is, if you get the ball, I don't think you can actually do anything with it. But it's just another turn that you have to spend um, that, that Dylan ha or that David has to spend. Ben. Or Ben what? names. Yes. Uh oh, you can. You absolutely can, because Adrian and Durant the. Two of the two of the the guys near the ball. Mm -hmm. Guess what they are? Throwers. Throwers. Right, but I mean it's it's a hard it's a hard check and like I mean I guess you give it to oh no no you give it to the bottom and you just run. Oh, yeah, that's not really. gonna do what you want it to do. Oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> no way! Oh! All right, they're tied up. Better get that ball. Yeah. And, and then you just give it to either Baldrick Fleisch or the bottom and just run it down the field. There's not really anything Ben can counter you with. Th this is one of the one of the most rapid deconstructions of a cage I have seen yeah. in a while. This is... Like, I mean, obviously rolling the boat... Like, rolling double skulls or functionally double skulls twice was really bad but but I don't really know how much that would have helped him it would have helped a lot if he managed to get that down if he if he got a push it wouldn't have helped as much but he needed that tackle zone gone in order in order to move up back through the right because then you have protection via you've tied up all these players yeah um yeah I, I, I don't him. know how okay he's gonna take the push that's fine Honestly, that's fine. For for Dylan, yeah, that is absolutely fine. And now you put, and now you start putting. You Dur do you Durant. put Durant on him? I think you do. You do, because there's nothing that he can do to counter Durant. Yeah, Durant, actually, I like that move. He's tying down both of the mummies with one tackle zone. I mean, sure, but the, the mummy already had three tackle zones on him. He wasn't going anywhere. The second one also had one tackle zone already. You don't need this player here. He's redundant. Um, actually, the thing with Patches, Patches can 100% can get out of one tackle zone. Oh, yeah, he's got he's break got, tackle. He's got break tackle. Yeah. Block. <laughs> Coming in handy. <laughs> and then... Uh, Actually, no, I'm not expecting a block onto Whitest. Oh! Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. You now have given another way out of this. Somewhat, yeah. I'd have just left him there. Yeah, there's no reason to take that. I mean, like, if you're going to take a one-die block, take, take the block with Jekyll. I fear he may have learned too much from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's learned my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? You're learning what parenting is like. Crap, my kid picked up that awful thing that I do. <laughs> really? There's no real... I mean, like, he's got dodge, but... This place got tackle. There's a way to get out of this. I think... It's... It's definitely not an ideal situation for It's ben. really not, but I mean... I think... We'll see here. Yeah, guard comes in. You're gonna put. You're gonna push. You're gonna push Eodred away. Yep. Yep. Ball is free. Ish. Ish. Ooh. No. Ooh. Apothecary. Out to next game. All right, that's fine. <laughs> it's better than dead. It's better than giving him another player. Oh, niggling Actually, injury. No. Niggling injury. So, uh, still out for the next game, but... Uh, well, well, no, still... Well, I don't know if he's out for the next game, but he's definitely out for this one. What's hilarious is that that's not even the best lineman. That lineman's replaceable, because Barnabas is on the bench. 
Yeah, really. Um. All right, now what do you do? <laughs> there's not a whole lot you can do. <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot Ben can really do here. All right, no, okay, good here stay. we go. Good stay, good stay, good stay. No, he's gonna. I think he's gonna try to run the ball out the back. Yes, he is. Ow. And because now everybody's tied up by mummies. Yeah. Only one of them has tackle though. Yep. Blitz. Oh yeah, he's got. Okay, he's got to. He's got to blitz him first. All right, you just needed that push. Okay, he he's he is gonna try to run away. Okay. That's a that's actually a really really bad idea. Well, hold on here. You still have to take this one die, and now you've got and now he's knocked down. The blitz no, the blitzer can't reach him. Nuffle's blessing on Ben is shining through. A little bit. I mean, Edwin Fleisch can't reach him. He get he gets one die knockdowns a lot. You've got a three up to blitz this guy. He didn't declare the blitz when he stood up. So I don't think he's blitzing this ball carrier. I mean, to be fair, Manfred would have two red dice against Quasimodo anyway. Yeah. I think this ball is gone. I don't think you're actually going to catch him. Um... I mean, Edwin Fleisch can in theory, but that's a lot of dodge checks. Those are, those are not checks that you were favored to make. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> yes! No! He doesn't have tackle, but he made the loader reroll. That's amazing. <laughs> the top! <laughs> I really like that push. I mean, like, he didn't really have an option of it, but yeah, that's, that's the best way to play it. Um... Of course, now you're, now, like, <laughs> I'm amazed that he pulled off that dodge. That was a four up dodge, too. That was a, that was a coin flip. I really wanted him to get, like, a defender down and just, like, destroy Quasimodo. I want, yeah, I wanted Quasimodo to just get murdered. <laughs> Ow. Well, no, like, wait, could you imagine how did Quasimodo die? Getting blitzed by an ogre. <laughs> yes. Squish. Just turns him into paste. Edwin Fleiss just turned around and punched somebody in the face. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Jekyll's There's gonna... a lot of one-die blocks coming out here. Yeah, I mean, you're never breaking Hanchi's armor anyway, but you've... Is he gonna try to free... Is he gonna try to free this up? I don't know how he can free people up here. Guard. Okay, yep. All right. The one result that you didn't want to see. All right, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> I mean, this is a. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out. No. Oh my gosh, she's gonna blitz with really old one eye. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. <laughs> oh, he no, has to make. He has to make going for it for that. Okay, so he's probably not doing that then. He he can. He can. Doesn't yeah, necessarily mean he should. Nah. Semantics. Um, uh, honestly, I wouldn't. I just move Quasimodo. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you you really you really don't want to block with him, but it, it'd be really funny to see just just to see the blitz. Just think about it. You got a three up with dodge. Oh my gosh. Versus a couple of two ups <laughs> and a two die. He's doing it. <laughs> I don't believe what I'm seeing. I don't agree with that at all. Oh no, you're you're definitely not supposed to do it. But you weren't supposed to blitz with the top, either. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> well, well, he had to blitz with the top. That was the only way to get to the ball carrier. 
Right, but I mean, like, you probably would have wanted to do everything else first, because the chances of that succeeding are very slim. You have a bonehead, a four-up dodge. Ow. Possibly loner. Yeah. If he fails something. Jeez! Yeah, uh, that is every- that is almost every player for the humans on the ground. Ben is the king of knockdowns. He Basically. really is. And uh, nobody can get this ball carrier, so... It's gone. Yeah, this so, is- this is a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Bonehead! <laughs> no, of all the times to do it. Yeah. I think, now, like, I think now you just start standing people up and setting up two die blocks. Yeah. You just, and you just start beating the crap out of people. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Is there even gonna be I'm excited to see how next season's gonna turn out. Next season's gonna be interesting. So confirmed for majors next season already, we have Lizardmen L men. replacing Halflings. Nurgle, Nurgle. Re replacing goblins. Um, I don't know if Elven Union has made it in yet. I don't think they're locked in. They might be. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's not who you would really want to piling on against, but sure. Oh! Oh, oh. dear. Uh, Actually, I don't see the region. He did a region! <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! And that's a permanent injury! Do you really care? Okay, so, of all the stat damages, though, that's probably the one you care the least about. Durr was never doing anything with the ball or making dodge checks anyway. His entire job was to get in people's faces and stay there. It's it's still not great. It's not great, but I mean, like, I mean, Jekyll got some SPP out of it, which is, like, the which, which is the highlight of that. I don't think this is... That this is not the end of Durr's um, career by a long shot. The, the thing is, he is more likely to get hurt again in the future. Durr? Yeah. No, he just lost an agility. I thought those also behave as niggling injuries. No, no. I mean, I mean, okay. So it it is a niggling injury. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Oh boy. Yay, block. Ow! <laughs> That's a wall. Oh. And of course, Ben's just gonna stall. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna deal the damage that he can. You know, he could put he could put really old one eye back and set up some two dies. Cause people still can't reach this ball. Oh, he already moved Quasimodo. Okay. Yeah, he moved Quasimodo. He's just stalling on the end zone. Uh, stalling on the end yeah. line. What the hell? Ow! <laughs> oh, this is all falling apart for the humans. I don't understand how Ben gets all of these. I mean, he is, I mean, he is thrown he with gets, mighty blow. Yeah. No but, no, but it's more, he gets so many knockdowns. He's gonna re -roll. He is going to reroll. That jerk. Oh, boy. I mean, part, part of it is block. Block makes five out of the six results good. And makes three out of the six knockdowns. I, assuming the other player, assuming the other opponent doesn't have block. Or dodge. Which most of, um... Dylan's team does have as well. Yes, yeah. I like how he's keeping really old one eye right here. Oh my gosh, he's gonna. Okay, I, I really wanted him to foul with really old one eye. <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen, but. Honestly, that move that move is just useless, really. Uh, it makes. It makes it's sense. more of a safety thing. Like, but... it doesn't. It makes it, it's a stronger move because it means that you don't leave the tackle, you can uh, the top can't leave the tackle zone without going backwards, and that's really important. Um, I mean, so, it, not against the big guy in particular, but against, like, a high movement player, that would be super important. Yeah, but because it's the ogre is why I'm saying yeah. that. It's, it's tight play, it's, it's doing, th it's because it's the principle. Knockdown, bonk! Nice. Ow! <laughs> 
I'm not throwing any other blocks this turn, I don't think. I think you're just staying put. <laughs> oh, wait, did, did the top fail it? Oh, he's going! Okay, here we go. That he... was the play that I wanted him to make. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, he's got another turn to just mess around now. Whereas before, I think... I... I honestly despise the way that Ben plays this game. <laughs> As in, you don't Be like that he just tries to kill you? Yeah. It and at the same time, he literally will just dangle the ball in your face and be like, get get the ball, get the ball. <laughs> it's, like, it's so demeaning. Eh, that's fair. At least I have the common courtesy to not stall on the goal line. <laughs> uh oh, Manfred's gonna get hit. Ow. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to thin the human team down. He already saw what they did before and how they almost got... I, I feel like just like if one thing goes different, their humans have that ball and it's over. Like, this looks very different. Oof. There you go. I think he's just trying to take players off the pitch. I mean, he's got three. So Yeah, so but... This is just how Ben plays Blood Bowl, and it's honestly kind of boring. Capital B L O O D. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Blood Bowl. I mean, he might score this turn. Yeah, okay, he's just gonna score. No, he. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he did a figure eight. Ben, Wait, I we've seen this before. Ben, Cameraman, ben, run! I, ben, I know you're watching this. The way you play this game angers me to no ends. <laughs> Who's up? Two of them got up, and one of them was Edwin Fleisch. We still got, we still got all four blitzers in. And none of the players for Undead came back. Um, humans can technically score, I think. No, yeah, they, they can definitely score. It's yeah, just, two turns. yeah, it's just gonna be bloody miserable to try. Really, really rough. He needs the catchers on the line. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, Ben. Hey, Adon's in. Yay! She has to be in. <laughs> Yeah, and then you just have the ghouls in the back to inter to deal with the ball carrier, set up a two, set up a two die probably. <laughs> that's that's the correct. Maybe spread your catchers out a bit, like yeah. Like you need to move them, and Gother needs to be on the line. <laughs> Uh, he just took out one of his catchers. He really should switch out Baldrick and Barnabas. Which one did he put uh, in? Oh, he just... He swapped one of the catchers. Yeah, he put in Gothard with... Who has sidestep. Oh, he, no, he, he put in Aemond. Aemond Angerny. Right, because he has three catchers on this team. Yeah. Oh, he put in the block. Okay, no, no, no. I mean, like, I, I still think you take out the sidestep catcher over the other one, but I can see why block is important here. Um, that might... That was a squib. A what? Squib. Very short kick. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's time. Free your souls to the other side. Uh, sure, something like that. I think you have to pass the ball first. Yeah, m much as we say don't go, this is one of those occasions <laughs> where you gotta have to do where first. you go for the ball, or you have to go for the ball first. Yeah, I think that's the only option here because there's nothing else that you can really do. All right, he's gonna throw. 
I like. Th I uh, don't like that direction. Yeah, you should that's... not have pushed him that way. Should have pushed him inward. Or he's just like not going to try to score. I mean, like, like Ben can't score. He's got one turn. He can't. He yeah. can't do it. There's no reason to act to like not go for this. But I mean, you can make a quick pass to Amund. Dodge around Adon. Right, like you have dodge, don't you? Yeah, you've you've got dodge. So this is what four ups with a free, with one free reroll. Yeah. Sure hands coming in close. <laughs> yes. Wait, what is Move he doing? Move it up. Move it up and throw it. What is he doing? To somebody. Ha! Literally anyone. He's not throwing it up. Okay, he's gonna cage it. What? Is he gonna try to long bomb this? No, he's not. He's just not gonna score. Ow. I mean, the chance. Uh, so. <laughs> This is one of those things where, like, not going for it isn't good, but the other side of this is that the chances of it working were very slim. Like, yes. you, you, you instantly had a three die block on you. Like, a, an actual six strength block. That's fine. <laughs> oh boy, Edwin Duck. That's not what I meant. <laughs> no, that was the wrong button. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that you don't get hit. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. There's no SPP coming out of this half. <laughs> All yeah, right. Make how did? How does? How? How what? How in the world does Ben get so many knockdowns? Eh, two dies with block are usually pretty good. That There's a 1 in 36 chance that you get knocked down. You can't get the ball. Stop it. <laughs> Is he actually going to try to blitz for the ball? Because that'd be hysterical. Whitest guy ever. Go! <laughs> oh, no, he's just doing that. <laughs> Really? That's not fun. You're gonna... Really, Ben? You're gonna half-ass it like that? Boo! <laughs> Boo! Oh, he's got dump off! <laughs> he intercepted it! <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's what was going on. He did blitz. I didn't see that he declared the blitz. You did blitz, yeah. Sorry! Yeah, now the lightning bolt shows up. Does it show up down here if, I, if he blitzes? Hmm? No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't show in the bottom of the screen or like in the game log no. if, if they declare blitz. That would be nice, though. It would be really nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the top. Now's your time. Boo. You know, Ben, when they say Blood Bowl, they mean both teams' blood. <laughs> Get Quasimodo on the front line. Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought he picked that. I thought he was going to catch that for a second. I thought he caught that. <laughs> Be like, What? Boy. All right, let's get some SPP. Nope, not from that one. I want to point out if that dump off goes off, things have changed. Kind of. I mean, like you don't, you can, you still can't score. You still can't score, but. But you can at least get a little bit... Actually, you can still get some SPP before the half. Yeah. O honestly, I'd look for a pass just to get some extra... Yeah, for sure. 
Extra SP. Like, you get you get Gothard the Gothard the ball and pass it to whoever Ammond probably. Yeah. Or you do that. I mean that works too. I mean it's the same. That I works mean, too. This is technically more likely to succeed. One in six is better than. I'm sorry. Um, one in six to fail is better than one in two to fail here with the Gothard's dodge check. So I think this is a four up, right? No, that, no, no. That's a uh... three up. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah, that's a three up. Okay, so so it's so it's two and six. That's still worse off. Because tackle doesn't add. Um... Yeah. It doesn't add anything. Yeah. So it's a three up. So, so how excited are you for next season? I'm pretty excited for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, okay, yeah, he's just going to call it there. Uh, our newer coaches, uh, uh, Alex and Tristan, the thing is, they can compete. Oh, they absolutely can. Let's go down the pitch real quick. Yep. All right, so that was a half. A thing. Yeah. I'm ben? gonna. I've got to kick your ass. I've got to <laughs> kick your ass. Then, yeah. then, all I... Uh, I just thought okay, I have to say, the, the, the way you play Blood Bowl angers me. <laughs> Why? It's boring. <laughs> he doesn't like watching people get the shit beat out of them. Well, you, get, no, no. you get upset when I get lucky with halflings, too, so you don't, apparently don't like chaos, either. <laughs> well, no, here, here's what I don't... Ben literally sitting on the goal line and punching people. He does it every game. It's boring. Yes, it's how his teams work. Yeah, it's just kind of what the undead do. Yeah, no. the undead are not a nice team. Um, no, they are not. <laughs> so, how are you feeling in this for in this half? You're getting the ball, Dylan. I've got to kick his ass. I've I've got to kick his ass. Kick his ass. <laughs> you had him in that first. You had him in those first four turns. You, you had, had him, him in the first half. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's the first, the first half. You had me in the first half of the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> I had you in the first quarter, it's just something. I thought I, I, thought I was screwed. <laughs> yeah, we were up there, we are just like, oh, fuck. You, you really should have been. <laughs> no, I like, just found, like, one opening. You have, you have just an insane amount of luck. Yep. And skill. A lot of skill. Yeah, it's mostly luck. Honest, there were there were some things that just came down to luck. So I'm, I'm gonna say, frankly, the way I imagine Ben playing Blood Bowl, you know the scene from the Matrix where all the numbers show up and you can actually see the data. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, the way I play is if my luck is bad, I play really passively, and then when I get lucky, I capitalize on as hard as possible. Yeah, yeah. Fucking really, <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to go back to the booth. Good luck, everybody. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, th th that's the thing. Ben gets lucky nine times out of ten. Yeah, it happens. That ball is out. Nope. No, it's not. It's just as far back as humanly possible. That's... I that's guess undeadly annoying. possible. It, I'm, well, maybe human. It was a zombie. Zombily possible? I don't know. I mean, it Zombly, was a human at some Zombly point, right? possible. Zombly, Zombly, Zombly possible. possible. <laughs> Zombly. Yes. I... I... I need a drink. <laughs> Go for you it. You want anything? Uh, bring me a Bloodweiser, please. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So, this is... If you're humans, this is not looking great for you right now. I mean, at least with the starting setup. I don't really like what Dylan is doing here. I understand what he's trying to do. I don't see the value in it, especially in taking this one die and then having that happen. That did not need to happen. You... Oh! <laughs> and that's a blitzer out for the rest of the game. Um, you didn't need that one die block right there. I, I get what he, what he was trying to set up, but at the end of the day, I think you just take... You take the high five. You take the fact that you both have block and you move on. Because getting this guy doesn't... Like, I understand that you're trying to free up a catcher, maybe. Or you're trying to free up some of your side for this. 
But what what you're really doing is you're throwing everything to the wind of the first turn. Oof. I mean, the worst part is that he had Frenzy, too. So if... If he rolls a push... And that goes off... You are now in two red die territory. It's just not where you want to be. It's just not where you want to be. Um... I think at this point, this is going to be one of those times where Dylan... Dylan's going Dylan's to get very punished on this line. Um... He has nothing... He doesn't have a whole lot of support in the back. I, I mean, like, you are going to lose the, the line of scrimmage. Like, when you see this line up from Undead, you don't commit to it, because you're going to lose it every time. He, he has double guard. I'm back. Okay. Um, He took a one-die blitz with Bartimus on the... as the first move onto the whitest guy ever. Rolled a both down. Didn't like it. Rolled a skull. Got injured. He's just badly hurt. But he's out for the game. Yeah, and now the ghouls are going to start applying pressure. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. Anyways, here's your Bloodweiser. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. Um. So one of the really important lessons of playing as Undead... When they commit eight players to the line of scrimmage, don't commit back. You're going to lose it. <laughs> um, I mean, even because, especially against leveled big guys, because the first thing they're because they're gonna get guard, right? Like, or I guess high level mummies will have guard. Um, which means that you're like everything in, next to them is a two die block, no matter what. Yes. This is just one of those times where you really did not want to commit there. Like, when, when if he throws six people on the line, pull people back. Like, throw your big guy on the line. Two players who don't mean anything. Maybe they have block or something just to make them resilient. Yeah. And everything else comes back. Because that way you can screen when they try to move. They're slow. Oh, That was your one way of salvaging this run. Or salvaging this drive. I think this is already a, this is a lost drive already, I think. There's no way you stop this. But yeah, like the damage, it doesn't look that bad. The it's like, oh, you still, done. yeah, you, you still have five people on the line. It looks fine. It's really not fine. You just gave up a lot of space. You have a lot of pressure coming from both your flanks and you're going to lose that, that. That line of scrimmage is going to break. And you can't yeah. keep, you can't keep all of these players here. Dylan is kind of thinking like an elf coach in all of the wrong ways. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, th this was a drive where when you see that opener, you're like, I'm going to screen the crap out of you. Yeah. Th this is a drive. L let's, let's change this scenario here. If Ben does this against an elf team, it fails. 100% of the time it will fail. Yeah. Because you put, like, two or three people on the line, it's like... Okay, you are... Uh, oh my gosh. These players are the sacrificial lamb. If yeah. they die, I don't care. Point of my, order here, he just outfouled the fouler. <laughs> without fouling. Hey, piling on is kind of like a foul. <laughs> yes, but you can't get sent off for it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, it's one of those, I mean, it's also, like, knowing your enemy. Like, here, it's like, you don't commit to the front because your opponent is, like, hit so much harder than you do. Like, you have guard. You're going up against exactly. two big guys with guard. You're not stopping this. It's better just to put three or four guys on the line. Maybe they have block, and you can, so they have, like, some amount of resilience. And you pull everybody else back, and you work one of the flanks. And you just screen off everything else. Because what are they going to do? They have zombies. You know, movement the, yeah. four? Okay. Skeletons, move, movement five. I mean, the whites are a little more worried about, but, like, you can still, you can try to tie them up. But there's only two of them. Right, I mean, there's only two of them, and, like, you can you can set it up so it's, like, you have, like, sure, they still have to take a two-die block to get it. And, like, yeah, it's a two-die, but it's one more die roll that they have to make. Mm-hmm. 
Like you can you can make this as difficult as you possibly can. You, you know what I'm seeing here? Hmm. Ben is not utilizing all of his tools properly. What do you mean? He, for example, he has uh, the whitest guy ever got an agility up. I have, I don't think we've seen him dodge once this game. You usually don't dodge with the white. You get the agility up because the white is a good ball carrier. So that makes him far more likely to pick up the ball or to catch the ball if you need to desperation pass. Or throw reason. the ball. Yeah, or something like that. I mean, well, throwing the ball is strength-based. Um, um, for range. I, right? Well, for range, and then it's agility-based for actually making the check. For, yeah, for making the pass. There you go. All right, you you did what you should have done on turn one, and you're about to get punished really hard for it, because if you had this set up on turn one, this would be a lot different. Actually, no, I really like this. Oh, no, 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 this is his best really move, like but he's still going to get hurt really hard for not doing this on turn one. You have nothing holding these guys back now, which is fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you need it. I mean, so three no. of them are going to get away on this no. side. You want them to. If I'm doing I want them to come over onto my side. Yeah, I think you, I think you have to do that because if they stay there. Because they're not going to stay there, for sure. I mean, one of them will stay to keep a tackle zone on Barnabas, but... That's fine. Just keep... Um, keep Lockjaw Larry there. Probably, yeah. Let the, blo let the block skeleton and the whitest guy ever run around. Mm-hmm. Or I guess shamble in terms of Elton John's x-ray. I mean, movement five. I, I guess you're not really running. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta imagine, like, what shape they're in if they just... You know, that's all just raw bone. <laughs> I guess they can't feel pain, though, right? So, you know, despite the fact that their knees are probably horribly destroyed... <laughs> Yep, here they come. So yes, we just please put to... him right into the put him right next to the tackle. So player. we just learned something interesting. Huh. So say let's say your player has dodge and the other player has tackle. Uh, um if you're dodging out of there, use use do, choose to use dodge yep. even if Yeah, even if it fails because because you if can't reroll it. Yeah, you well, yeah, because you can't use the team reroll otherwise. That's how. That's what I learned against Ben. Because <laughs> it had never come up before for me, or if it did, I didn't notice. We. Hey, hey, that's okay. I withheld how dodge worked from you guys, or yep. how tackle zones worked from you guys for a season. Yeah. Do I regret it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Edwin. <laughs> it's like, oh, eh, eh. why don't I? Oh, why don't you regret it? Because it won me a, because it won me a championship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Aldrick is amazingly holding his own out there. Yeah, really. And now this is gonna suck. <laughs> uh, for for somebody. Oh, 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 it's it's most assuredly Dylan. It's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure about that. Does he have a catcher? Bonehead mm -hmm. failed, and now the big guys are gonna go do things. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to. You you have to get this ball. Yeah. That was not the right move, Dylan. It's not what you should have did. You know what I'd have done with that guy? Blitz. No. Move him closer to throw the ball, maybe. Like, move. But basically, keep him out in the open where you can actually like throw the ball to him. 
Right, but I mean, like, there's no protection anyway. Like, if you throw the That's... ball to him, you actually just give the ball away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought he was... I thought he wave. was long bombing that. I did too I for he was a second. Throwing it to Barnabas or Barnabas Theoderic. Run, go out the right side. I Run. I actually really, really do like that pass. Yeah, you need to stay out of. And that's the correct move. direction to go. I mean, that's not where you should have stopped because the mummies are right there. Doesn't matter. Take it. No. <laughs> no. Uh. The 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 both down wouldn't have done anything. I guess. They both have block. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they both have block. I mean, I don't know how necessary because that doesn't actually. It kind of sets you up well. I actually don't mind that position for the bottom. He because he is forcing Ben to make rolls to get him. Because think That's about true. it, yeah, yeah, the mummies are there, but they have three movement. They have to roll going for it it's on the way there. Yeah. He didn't stand up Edwin. I guess he doesn't want him served. Yeah. This is doable, but... I actually, I actually like him keeping him down there. Yeah. Because it's like, one, what are those zombies going to do? It's like, where else are those zombies going to go? Not really anywhere. And what are you going to do? Foul him? That's that's unnecessary risk. Right. If he fouls him, it's going to be the last move of the turn because he doesn't... Please fail. Did he, did, did he just declare blitz? Uh... No, he didn't. No. No, he... Oh, he was moving him moving him in for guard so he gets the two die. Yep. Puts him there... One of these days, Ben. And this One is gonna hurt. Is he gonna no! Roll? If... It's a push! He's got a reroll. Yeah, he just spent the reroll. Nothing! It doesn't matter! That's... It that's matter. the direction he wanted to go. That, yes, that's actually really, really good for Dylan. I was gonna say, I would've just taken the both down. Like, you have block. It's a, Oh, wait, tackle. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What are you going to do? Uh, I mean, you have... I mean, what are you going to do if you're Dylan? Like, I mean, you can try to... Do... Oh! Oh, no, no. Oh, easy. That, that, that's freaking... That's a, Th that's is... a four up. No, 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 it's a three up. You dodge backward. You come around. You hand it off to Baldrick. Right, math is hard. <laughs> Six or, or, minus or, three. Or, or, yeah, you, you try to knock down the white. You hand it off to Baldrick Fleisch. Or, now, in this case, you just give it to Jekyll and then laugh, or, or laugh in Ben's face. <laughs> Run! You, you claim to be worthy? Run away! <laughs> okay, big guy's up. <laughs> that That's fine. That, put, it, that's... put the tackles out on somebody. That that's that's relatively inconsequential if it yeah. fails. That's a fun word. Inconsequential. Yes. Inconsequential. Now you you need to get the bottom out of there. You absolutely yeah. What the hell? He's He's gonna hand it off to him. That that may not be a bad idea, actually. You don't have a lot of time. You, the, like the sooner you tie the, actually no, the sooner you tie this up, that might actually hurt you later. Well, no, no, because then you're gonna give. If this goes right, you give maybe two. Two turns. And we yeah, you give Ben probably about two turns to score, and then you you force this into OT. Yeah, that that's that's Dylan's best bet, I think. Yeah, I think he has to force this in overtime. Either that, or he gets gets lucky and scores twice. 
Well, like, I mean, he literally can't score unless he can unless he's... Okay, yep. Wait, what? Why him? I see what he's doing. Okay, yeah, he's... He's setting up. I yeah, actually really, really you like You don't him. have another turn to set up, though. He doesn't oh my gosh. anymore. Oh, my <laughs> Well... <laughs> The ball is loose, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, at least you have tackle zones on it. Yeah, there's also a tackle zone on this. I mean, like this is this is a block and a blitz away from just ending in disaster. It is he looking to surf the thrower? Oh, no, he's tying him up with the tackles. I forgot the thrower was even there. <laughs> yeah, I did too. That's the push you needed. That's not what you wanted at all, though. You wanted a knockdown. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you usually want a knockdown, but right there, the only thing that you really cared about is getting, getting a player off of Quasimodo. Oh, boy. <laughs> they say he's lucky. Oh, my gosh. You see what I mean? <laughs> the top! No! No! The top! Well then. No! I'm so sad! <laughs> Me too. Alright, here's that blitz we talked about. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that that's about standard for how Ben's block blocks work. I mean, you had four dice, right? Like, you're gonna find one that works for you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so doable. That's really good. That's good for doing. It's doable. <laughs> All he has to do is get in, pick up the ball, get out. <laughs> Actually, here's what you do, right? Hmm. You go in with... You, you, you either move Prisoner 37 out of the way, or you do this with him. Right? Actually, he... Yeah, uh, you go in, you pick up the ball. You dodge out. You go back in, hand it off to... Barnabas, and then... Run. And then you run away. Yeah, okay. Well, that's out. Um, he technically has... People in... What the hell? Here play. Oh, why'd you move him from there? I mean, yeah, you have to re-roll it. Oh my gosh. He <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That works! It works! <laughs> He's got the ball! He does, in fact, have the ball. He is he, now about to be turned into pace. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. He probably shouldn't have moved Barnabas at all, though. Yeah. That's really not who you wanted to throw that block with. Unless... Oh, no, he wants the, he wants the higher agility. Oh, he also... Yeah, he wants the higher agility for this. Okay. Wait, what? In theory, if he knocks down Manfred, he wants the higher agility player, the whitest guy ever, to be able to pick up the ball. He's debating the both down. I Actually, think you take the no, both down. No, no. You, well, if, you take the, if he takes the both down, it's a turnover. I don't think you care about that. You're winning this game. You just don't want him to have the ball. No, you do care. You do care about it, because what if it ends up outside of that the area again? I mean, maybe, but, like, I'm trying to, th like, everywhere around this area is beneficial for you. Like, the worst thing that happens is Prisoner 37 catches the ball as it juggles from Quasimodo to, to the whitest guy ever. You just want the ball out of here. Because if the ball no, is out of here, there's no, nobody that can go get it. No, the worst, the worst possible result is that it goes 
forward to down Ben's side of the pitch. Um, that it gets dropped and there you go. <laughs> the ball is still in play, kind of. <laughs> and that's a surf. Goodbye, Baldrick. Ow. Just the for the side. love of God, serve him. <laughs> On the flip side, it took five people to, get to, to dislodge that ball. Ow. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I've discovered something. Huh. Ben cannot win shorthanded. No, he really can't. <laughs> yeah, it, it, if you can knock out a couple of players from Ben, he's he's done. Oh, he didn't surf. No. He, 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 he should have surfed Durant. I always tried. <laughs> Don't play for blood, surface players. <laughs> no, play for blood when it's funny and it's the only thing you can do. All right, well, let's see. How are you going to get this ball? <laughs> Actually, this is quite simple. Uh, yeah, you... You punch Quasimodo. That's how you get the ball. Yeah. Oh. That's who he blitzed. Okay. Oh, okay. Take the push. Just take the push. I just paused the game on accident. He misplayed that. Yeah, he really didn't need to do that. You didn't need to follow there. You could... If you just pushed him and then didn't follow. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> so, like, I I'm just gonna be flat out about this. Dylan needs to play this like he's playing Dark Elves. He he needs to, yeah. Dylan needs to play this. Needs to play his team right now, as if he's playing a Dark Elf team. Or he Which just is... needs to play it like a passing game at all. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I wonder who's about to get, get murdered by King Ramses next. <laughs> he can technically still do this with the two turns he has left. He can force this into OT. Yeah. Ouch. It's but just... He... He needs the stars to align. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of sixes. <laughs> that could be really good for Dylan. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, if it goes that way and he rolls a six, it's good. <laughs> if, it, if it goes to Tucker and then like goes over behind him or whatever, it, basically if it goes towards Ben's end zone, it's perfect for Dylan. I mean, not really, like, because at that point you can't interact with the ball anymore. Oh, jeez. Because at that point, the only thing that's stopping you from getting the ball is, like, zombies having two agility. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's reasonable, but I mean, I don't, I don't think that Dylan is going to be able to pull this one out anymore. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hit him into the ball, you... Coward. Coward. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are five knocked out players, two injured, and a dead one. <laughs> he had to use his reroll, everybody. It's fine. <laughs> no. No, it's not fine. It's, it's, it's sarcasm. Run away. <laughs> you could still technically get a two die on the ball carrier. I mean, now it's just... Now it's not happening, but... <laughs> Actually, wait, no, no, it could still happen. Oh, yeah. He can totally do that. 
Oh yeah, he can he can still totally get a, a two die in the ball carrier. Yeah, Durant's yeah, really gonna have to run this. <laughs> run away. No no Durant is who you blitz with. That was the right position. Yeah, definitely. Durant. Actually, I, you, you probably blitz at the bottom. The bottom has block and is equally likely to get there. Yeah, but actually well Yeah, he's equally actually, likely to get there. They're the same likely to get there. Yeah. And if you say kill Quasimodo, you get SPP. And he does have enough movement for it. Okay. Okay, that one. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, it was one or the other. I like the idea. I like the idea, Dylan. I really do. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> and here it comes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just please roll double skulls again. He never does. That's the thing. He never he never does. And now ben you... never rolls double skulls on the reroll. And now you park him right outside. Make no, him surf a no, ball. No. No. <laughs> no, you just fucking score. You just you, you just score. You really don't. Like you 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 make because this is a this is like just one of those long term investment things it, of a you don't have a reroll so if you fail the going for it that ball is free. Um, B. Dylan can't do anything. Can't do anything to hurt you on his last turn right now. If he scores, and his players get back up, he can then do things to hurt you. Yeah, but he still can't score. The game's over. He's won. Right, but this is about like. So, and you're playing an undead team. What do you care? <laughs> you have regen. We've already so... seen that fail once today. <laughs> also the. The ghouls don't get regen, so like if he, I mean, obviously yes, you just you, but if you just park them. Yes, back. But, but if your ghouls are on the line of scrimmage, you're doing it wrong. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things of just minimizing the amount of risk that you take. <laughs> Although Dylan has a has a hilarious way of pulling this out. Which if he is? blitzes with somebody and pushes Quasimodo into the end zone, it scores on his turn. It's then his turn again to receive the kickoff. One turn touchdown. I mean, he can't do that, but he can still like spite, like try just to beat, spite injure people. Beat the hell out of Ben. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is that's just what you do. You just you take Durant and you're like, I'm gonna go kill you. <laughs> Actually, I don't think Durant can get the. Yeah, Durant's gonna have to dodge for his life. You just fucking try. I you think just you, do. You probably try with. You can't even try with Manfred. Yeah, I mean, you have to try. You have all of three players on the pitch. Y you, yeah. Th this is how I felt last game. This is how I felt in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. You just have to try. Go. Go, you beautiful now bastard. You... No! Now you know how it feels, Dylan. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I had to. I had to get. I had to do the one. Okay, that, Just, that's my one. I'm done now. Oh please, God! We've already seen this. Run, camera. Oh fuck! We just hired. Ah. Oh. We just hired him too. They keep killing our. You don't get players if you kill the cameraman. Honestly, I'm tempted to disqualify Ben's team for killing so many referees. Yeah, really. All right, let's go to the pitch. It's just the sound of me beating my head against the desk. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Ben? That's bad. You literally can't fuck up my head any more than it already has been. Ben. Yeah. I swear you're going to end up getting disqualified from killing referees. <laughs> from what? From killing referees and cameramen. I'm yeah, probably. You don't I'm get angry. players if you kill them. Listen, I'm angry. Why? <laughs> because now we can't make fun of Ben for not uh, for always making oh, it to for the always finals losing and not the winning finals. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that was I think that was a really good game. Um yeah. Oh, shut up. We it know was. it wasn't. It was. There was there were hey, good by the things way, and all other not good Go things. ahead, Dylan. By the way, Reaper, I never want to hear the words you don't understand come no. out of your mouth again regarding <laughs> the <Marvel>, Because <laughs> I, I fucking yeah. do. No, no. It, it, speaking of, I got my one, uh, I got my one little spite comment out. 
So I'm done. We got our. I'm good. Okay. Go cool. I'll get to hear that <laughs> back in the recording. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that like, good. The, the second the second half was just disgusting. Uh, that no, was... I rolled I rolled way too many armor breaks. That kind of thing shouldn't yes. happen. Yeah, that that that, does, yes. that should never happen ever. No, there was there was a point during one of the turns where I got I think three KOs at one turn. Yeah, you and got I three just, KOs. I don't know why that happened. That shouldn't happen. Yeah. Mighty Blow. Ben, ben puts, I, well, no, only one of them was Mighty Blow. That one made sense. Ben, but, like, I was rolling 11s. Ben, put simply, you had the kind of luck that I did when Eilie and I ran the uh, ran the side game that influenced the main game at our local game store, <laughs> where I basically <laughs> where I basically rolled god tier on every single check. Y yes, but but the difference between that is that was one time. Ben does it every single game. Well, that just means that we have to go kill kill all of Ben's players next season. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to say we just have to kill Ben. I mean, that would also <laughs> solve the problem. But that please... would solve the problem, but then we need to figure out who we're replacing. Yeah, with, we, we, then we need that. to figure out who puts these on YouTube. You know, that's just a big mess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there are logistical issues with killing so, Ben. Yeah. It's not worth doing. <laughs> <laughs> there are logistical issues <laughs> with killing Ben. You heard it here first, folks. Ben, why'd you have to score the second touchdown? We just hired that new cameraman. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I heard he wasn't doing quite the best job, so I thought it might first be game. Of course he's not going to do the best job. Well, that's Blood Bowl for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn it. He signed I... up knowing the risks. It's Blood Bowl. <laughs> I gotta give Tucker a skill now. Um, but no, that was absolutely yeah, disgusting I'm... in the second half. <laughs> um, Dylan, unacceptably so, to be frank. Dylan, Dylan accept I'm... my yeah. hug, and I'm sending I'm sending the tops family a fruit basket. Yes. <laughs> edible, and, the top will be receiving and, edible arrangement. And, and Dylan, I just want to say, like from from the bottom of my heart, I'm fucking sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I feel really bad. That I, was disgusting. I I know that position. I know that feeling. Just the feeling of, I can't do anything anymore. Yeah. It's the worst possible feeling to have in Blood Bowl. It was like the first half was like, all right, we might actually have like a game on our hands. And then the second half, bad. The first half was good. <laughs> the, the first half the was first, incredible. The first like six turns was like a dead even game. And then I just like... You yeah, and then your luck, ran away then, and then it. your luck kicked yeah. in. That well, so, then it was what what kicked. There was, and I I talked to them a little about this at the very start of the second half. Um, he made a blitz that gave him a one die roll. Yeah, and the difference, but the, there were two things that caused that huge push at the front line. One was move over, make it a two die instead of a blitz. But even if that happened, because I have two guard players in the middle of the pitch, because I've built this team that way. It if you do like Eilie's done this before, where um, me and Eilie have done this against each other, where we chain two die rolls down the line. Yeah, but I, buying I guard is what. Yeah, but picking up guard is what stops that from continuing. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's how my sor that's how my source align works, right? Like as yeah, a lizard, man, exactly. I work entirely on run one skin cup up on the edge, and just use your source to bow everybody down, and now I have guard in the. I mean, line. like, the, uh, the mm -hmm. Undead are a team that fundamentally <laughs> plays on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just one of those things where, especially, yeah. like, with mummies, where, I mean, granted, like, you probably get guard on them as the first level up. It's just one of those yeah. things of... Yeah. It's it, really took, it took me a little while to figure that out. I think, I, I, I think the only thing that caused that second half, like, besides the un, ungodly rolls, um, like, maybe slightly different positioning when the ball started moving... And I wouldn't have been able to catch up to anybody, um, just because like my team is so slow. I'm sending it. We're, we're still sending this edible arrangement to the uh, to the bottom and to the tops family. Um, yeah, when the bottom wakes up in the hospital, he's gonna not be in a good mood. You know, wait, wait, hold on here, hold on here. Well, Dylan, he's KO'd, so he'll. Dylan, be best story move here. You give him dirty player, and now he just spite kicks the shit out of everybody. Yes, <laughs> yes. he just spite kicks my entire team. He has pro. Yes, th nice. Throw's pretty good. Nice. 
Pro's always good. Oh, pro. Pro's okay. fun. I thought you said throw, and I was like, did he get? Did he roll doubles? <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be like alignment throw. with block and throw. That seems block awesome. Block and pass, yeah. Um, but no, I think I we're leave. gonna. I think we're gonna call it here because yeah, there's I think not a whole lot to talk about. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Uh, the only other thing. So, in the minors, we are on the final week of the regular season. Oh yeah. We're gonna play up. that out like tonight day after just during the rest of this week so that we're ready for the challengers cup the following week and once the challengers cup hits then all of the invitations will have been sent out for season three and we'll be able to tell everybody which teams are staying in the majors and which ones are coming back up from the minors because most of the teams in the minors were in the majors last season well, and pro already probably are. Probably uh, expect a break for a week at that point. Let yeah, me let me actually check what is and is not. Yeah, I've got it right here. Uh, Durgle the Nurgle is coming up. Lizardmen. Durgle, Durgle, Durgle the Nurgle. Lizardmen are absolutely coming up. Yeah, you didn't Gurney's need to tell anybody back. that. Um, <laughs> Michelin stars went 0 and 7, so uh, Gurney is coming back. Smite game is coming up. Smite game's coming. Okay, nice. Right, um, uh, well, okay. No, here's the thing. We can guarantee the. We can, okay. We can guarantee that. Um, Durgle to Nurgle's coming up. We can guarantee that Gurney's coming up. We can guarantee that, um... Smite game is coming up because they well, have more wins than... Oh, do they have it by, like, at least two? Because the uh, thing is, we haven't, we haven't played the last week, so we don't know for a fact of what a, uh, where, um, like, about five of the teams sit because so, they're all, they all have to, like... So, so the Muggles that out. finished 2-1-4. and four. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they are. So, yeah, then Smite Games coming up because they were 3-0. They're, th I think, 3-0 They're 3-0-3. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Three so, and, three. unless, like, unless everybody just does so well in the minors that they somehow end up low, then yes, Smite Games coming up. Yeah. Well, he here's the thing. And that's, uh, that is another elf team. I can't remember which group of elves. Elf, Elven uh, Union. Elven Union. Cool. It's a fun team. We it's have four, we have four elf teams. We have all elf teams. We have all the elf teams. Yep. I'm just Two at once in each league. I'm just glad that we can't have, like, three in one league, potentially. Yeah, yeah. agree. That would be obnoxious. No, all, four, all four in one league would be obnoxious. I frankly like the fact that this series... And this is how we're dividing it going forward. Uh, ben, did you explain what the plan for after Series 1 is at any point? Uh, series it 1. as good a time as any. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. But we'll just long right story there. short, after Series 1 ends, we're going to pick new teams. Bye. After After six seasons of this... There will be new teams, yes. There and we'll talk about the way those are being picked once we actually get there. But yep. we don't need to talk yes. about that for the broadcast yet. So, yep. uh, Ily, well, you think we're good? Yeah, that's, I think we're good. Sign it that's, after right. the all, that's after the All-Star. And all that's a wrap. Right, so. All right, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see and... you next week with the Challengers Cup. Uh, yeah. And then we'll see you in 2020. Wee! Yeah. yeah. Woo!